guys. So today uh, we're swatching out, well I'm reviewing and a little bit of swatching on this um, new plate for me. Um, it's a CJS 81 clear jelly stamper plate. Um, and you know, to be honest, I wasn't sure I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this plate and I uh, was more excited about the other plates that I got but I this is changing my mind so anyway we're going to so they come like this with a little plastic jacket and a lot of them now are coming with this card which is awesome because it gives you an idea about colors or you know what goes with what but not all of them have that yet um, and then it has this blue film so we're just going to take it off. This is the watercolor plate, CJS 81, and we're going to do we're going to do this one down here. So um, some of these only have you know two layers, and some of them have three. So this one here uh, is one of the big flowers, and this is the first one, the blank space one, then two and three, and we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to turn around my direction. And I've already prepared the nail. It's kind of a peach uh, color. And, um, and, and what am I missing? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so one thing I wanted to tell you, though, is that, you know, sometimes if you get darker colors, depending on the color combination that you have, you know, just a tip, you might want to, um, you know, if you try it and you don't like how it looks when you put it on here, but it looks good on your, um, you know, lint roller because it was white, um, then you might try putting white as your first layer. And I'm going to go ahead and do that just to, you know, show you, you know, kind of what it looks like. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this on this one. I'm going to. So I'm going to do the blank space. This one here, I'm going to do in white first before I do that softer uh, peachy pink color so that it will pop more on this, you know, orange. So it doesn't have to be perfect because it's not going to, you know. Okay, let's see, which way do we want this to go? We're going to go kind of, let's do it that way. Okay, so we got white. And then we're going to do our peachy pink next. And I'll put all the names of everything that I'm using on my, you know, on this tester, little tester sample swatches we're doing right now. Okay, so we're going to do this one next. You know, actually, I don't want to do that. I'm going to do this one over the white. So I'm still doing the same blank space, the number one, you know, spot. But now I'm going to do it in this peach, kind of a powdery peach color. And I'm going to do it over that white, what I stamped in the white, so that I can try and kind of show you, you know, what I'm talking about. And this one, I think I didn't scrape it quite hard enough, and it kind of, it's okay. It'll be fine. So we're going to go like that. Now, it is going to show a little bit white on the edge. I mean, you don't have to do it that way, but I did it on purpose. So I know it doesn't look great right now, but that just so it kind of brings it out a little more from that um, peachy orange color. But you could have just done this if you wanted it to be a little softer, more subtle. Um, you could have done that. I mean, that's kind of how this one, you know, turned out. Um, I didn't put white behind it. And so it's got a little softer look, which is fine. But I was a little more concerned with the peachy, and I wanted to show you how I did that. So, so we're gonna do. So next, we're gonna do to the second layer here, and we're gonna do that in this color here. Um, it's by Bundle Monster BMC, which is now called Maniology. So this one's Mistletoe Magic, and it's one of my favorites that they have. I just love it. So I'm using Bundle Monster Maniology stamping polishes and I'm using Born Pretty. Those are two of my favorites. Um, I would eventually like to try the Clear Jelly Stamper polishes too, but I just haven't yet. So I am you know, don't really like to recommend stuff that I haven't tried yet. 
but I can't imagine that it's that it's not good because I love their plates. I love my oh by the way, big bling, <laughs> poor thing, clear jelly stamper, big bling, um, and so that's how that looks. And then it has one more layer, and we're gonna put that. We're gonna do a lavender. Um, okay. Um, and it's not gonna, you know, it's just a little bit. It's just gonna, this image here is just a little bit. It's not gonna pick up a whole lot, but anyway, we're gonna do that. And so, you can see the little spot on there. And we're gonna put that right here, like that, okay. So it's pretty, pretty flower. Um, you know, you just gotta play around with the color combination to see which ones you like, you know, for the background and for the layers. Um, and now, since the this is one of the big flowers, and on the big flowers, as far as I can tell, actually, why don't I show you this? This might be easier. As far as I can tell, the big ones don't necessarily, I mean, they didn't put like a stem with them. So I just, which I actually, it's fine with me because I just kind of went through and picked out what I wanted and used whatever, you know, leaves that I wanted to, leaves and stem on them. So what we're going to do on this one is we're going to go ahead and we're going to use, uh, let's see, which one do we want to use? I think we're going to use this one right here. And this one works real good for these flowers. So I'm going to, here's one image, that's the blank space, and then two is that one. So I'm going to do the darker color here. And generally you say dark, light, you know, or dark, medium light if there's three layers, or start from light to, you know, the other contrast. But I think, you know, you just have to kind of play with them and see which one you like where. I mean, generally I do that rule, uh, but sometimes I will change it up a little bit. So anyway, we're doing a dark green, kind of a grass green. And uh, let's see, that's right, I want to use these over here. Um, so we're gonna do that, okay. And the other thing I've discovered um, that I like is with this plate in particular, okay, so there's that. And so we're gonna go ahead and put this on here, uh, kind of offset just a little bit like that. So there's that. And now we're gonna do the second layer of those leaves and it's gonna be in a lighter color. And it's, I'm using kind of a mintish you know, kind of a mintish, I guess, color. Um, and, okay. So, here we go. And roll. And I'm gonna get off what I don't want right there. So there's that, doesn't look like much. It's just gonna go over this. And, like that. Okay, there we go, and that's it. So all you would do now is, um, if you're gonna use regular polish, then I would recommend, oh, I think this one will look crooked, huh? I would recommend um, either a water-based polish, or my favorite is Fun and Monster Smudge Free Top Coat, works great. Or a gel polish, um, shiny or matte, right now would be great. So that's that one. And then, um, and one of the things I was starting to say is that, so I did, I freehanded this watercolor, Manny, um, but I love this plate. I'm loving this plate I discovered a lot more than, you know, like I said, than I thought I would, but I'm loving it because it does have a watercolor kind of a look. You could, I think you could definitely do this Manny, something close to it, using this plate with these images. So very pretty. Um, so first I wanna show you Here's some other ones I did also from this plate, and I just love them. I think they're all beautiful, gorgeous, um, and the one we just did is this one here. Um, but all of these are on here, and these are the big ones, and they do have smaller versions of these flowers on here. Um, you know, if you have smaller nails or you want to put, you know, mix them up with big and small or whatever, um, you know, you can do that. So anyway, there's that. And then also I swatched the, everything on here. I mean, I might have missed one little piece of greenery or something, but 
um, on this lint roller. So let's go. Here's, and I put stems with, went ahead and put stems with the big ones. And then here's some words. I love the words. All of the words stamped out really nice. So this one is, I dream in flowers. So anyway, here's some of the flowers. Um, some other flowers on here. Greenery. Here's, you know, the berries and some more flowers and greenery. And I mixed up different stems with, you know, like the big flowers, like I said. We didn't stamp this out. This is Delicate Garden. I love this. Beautiful writing. Love this. Rose over pretty flower and some smaller berries that's on there. Another pretty flower. Some more greenery. And then this one here says, Believe where you are, no, Bloom where you are planted. So real cute. Um, and did I miss anything? Down here is a light, uh, life. I think it says life is beautiful. Yes. So that's what that one is. More pretty flowers and greenery. Rose, long stem rose. This one, this writing is um, let your dreams blossom. So really sweet scenes. Everything stamped out really nice. Um, I really didn't have a problem. I don't think with anything. So, you know, this is here is pretty... Um, I think it says pretty petals on this one here. Um, this one is the earth laughs in blue. Oh, the, the earth laughs in flowers. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, really pretty. Love all these. Love the flowers. I absolutely love the whole plate. Every, and you can mix and match however you want. Like I said, the different leaves and stuff, you know, um, like here on this one here, it's one of the big ones that didn't have any stem that was, you know, notably with it. So I just borrowed these leaves from this image and, you know, doubled it up. Or you could just do it one time, you know, or whatever, you know, you want. So these are really awesome. Um, and it, once again, it is a clear jelly stamper plate. It's CJS 81 watercolors, gorgeous. Um, it's definitely one you want in your collection. So thank you so much. Um, please like and subscribe. Click the bell icon and, um, and then they will send you a notice on my next new video, which will be soon because I have another one of these large plates um, to review and swatch for you. So thanks so much, guys. Bye.